Chiang Rai is Thailand's most northern city and still one of Thailand's most untouched destinations. Some call it the birthplace of Thailand because of its ancient culture, legends and history. To fly from Bangkok it takes a little over an hour, only 200 kilometers northeast of Chiang Mai city, with the Maykok River running along Chiang Rai's north side, flowing west out of Burma and finally merging with the Mekong River. Rice fields spread out past the edges of the city that meet limestone mountains and dense jungle, bordering Burma to the north and Laos on the northeast. Around the 12th century, ancestors of the Northern Thai people migrated from China through Burma and Laos, bringing with them the cultural influences, traditions and beliefs which ultimately formed the very distinct culture that exists in Chiang Rai today. Chiang Rai is full of history and legends, and you wouldn't believe it by looking at this lake, but there's a city under here. During the Buddha period, the very first kingdom in the north of Thailand was established here as Yanoknokon. A few centuries later, it was abandoned and lost underwater. Or as the legend goes, the kingdom had a beautiful princess. She was so beautiful, that the serpent wanted to check her out. So the serpent came and he was hiding behind a tree. As he was hiding behind the tree, one of the generals of the army saw him. So the serpent took off to the river and he turned into an eel. The general then ordered his troops to catch the giant eel and the whole town feasted upon it that night. Naga, the serpent king, was so furious at the town for eating his son that he sunk the whole city underwater in revenge. A few hundred years later, the very first modern day city in the north of Thailand, Chiang Sen, was founded. We're now at the centre of the ancient capital of Chiang Sen, which was established in 638 AD. Now it wasn't until 600 years later that King Men Rai established Chiang Rai. Chiang Sen is only 60 kilometres away from Chiang Rai. Set by the Mekong River, it has a very sleepy country town feeling, one of its greatest appeals. Like Chiang Rai, Buddhism has always been the driving force here in Chiang Sen. With 76 temples in the city, it's very rich in ancient customs and religious history. With such a beautiful natural environment to explore, there is a lot to see and do here. And a great way to see the area is to take a speedboat on the Mekong River. With Laos so close, our first stop is a small shopping island called Don Sao. It's a bit exciting. So I don't know why they're giving us safety vests because they told us it's actually quite safe. Whack that on. Yeah. Okay. Ciao, Mr. Noi. Mr. Noi, full pass English, come here. Right, here we go. Speedboat, Lao Island. Okay, let's go. Woo. Our driver Noi is taking us for a trip down the Mekong River. Now Thailand's over that side, but really close to us here is Lao. Now this water actually originates from the Himalayas. Now it goes through six countries. It goes through China, uh, China, Burma, Lao, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. It's about 4,900 kilometers long. And the water, let's see if I don't fall in though. It's actually a bit cool. The Mekong River, in all of its splendour, is the livelihood of countless numbers of people that live along the banks. The river is a channel where Lao and Thai people connect. Um, immigration, Tame? Tamalai, what, what do I do? Here we go. 
things. Duty free shopping. Let's go. So we've come to Don Sao Island, duty free shopping, no tax. So I'm actually looking for a duty free iPad. Me iPad maker? Okay. Me Galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> you got some lovely hats. Look at this. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Look how quick she's doing it. So what does it do? What putting the scorpion in the what's mm. the whiskey hole? Yeah, So is this see it makes you stronger. See, see if I take this, will I look like this when gun man? So that's amazing. Look, it's actually a snake. Isn't it? It's incredible. I have an ear. And look, small ones as well. Yeah. Look at that. Poor snake. Drunk snake. Duty free as well. No tax on that. It is all the different types of people that you meet on your travels that makes the journey.